Right, I'm going to do a couple of... You can't just build structures, huge, massive structures and floors without having rebar in them, right? And anyway, I've shown enough artifacts. I'm not going to do it all again, right? Of things, machines and machine parts that were obviously high-grade metal and they are now stone, right? You're talking rubbish, guys, and I'm going to prove it and then I'm also going to do some videos on <clears throat> like I've been promising you showing you who's talking out of their ass and uh, why I've moved away from them right they've not moved an inch like they've like they had all the answers already established like science right I've shown you this a few times, I'm just starting here, right, because this is uh, one of my main discoveries that I've put out yet, yeah, is rebarring, uh, turning to stone, and this is in America, and you see this, and, you know, this is exactly what we do today, right, because like I've said before, everything that we have today, every single building method, why we're able to build like we do, yeah, is because we've learnt from things of the past, we've learnt from structures of, yeah, and ideas of how they were building in the past, and I'm talking about everything, right? And these are like what you get in between floors on a skyscraper, uh, just any structure. I'm going to do a lot on this now over the next few videos, and then they're bolted into position, right? And then you pour concrete. And obviously the concrete erodes out of it. You can see little stones, yeah? And the lime runs out of it and creates a hard surface like I've shown you before. And that's exactly what we're looking at here. This is not metal anymore. It's being leached from the lime, gets into it and turns it into stone. Or it forms an imprint as it rusts away and it becomes stone. I don't care which one it is. It doesn't matter to me. And just because you show the odd artifact that seems to be shining because you've you fetched the camera around to an angle and got the sun glinting off it and you're trying to pass it off as being geopolymer uh, vitrification I'm gonna show that again that it's rubbish right vitrification yeah there is some of it about because you know I believe things that uh, out much of this is formed is from similar things what happened at Sodom and Gomorrah, right? Uh, and it happened all over the place. But these are, we used to be steel beams, right? These were, otherwise they would break and fall down. Think about it, right? You can even see where the bolts were. There's a plate and two bolts. And we, like I say, we've learnt from all this. Now, these, you know, I'm not sure what these are. Probably being formed in some type of concrete cement mix, yeah, as they're poured into uh, like a mould. And then they create these in, in sections, right? So you can either make from them from stone or, you know, concrete or, uh, or metal. But obviously, you know, the stone ones aren't going to last long. And that's what I'm getting at with this, these two videos that I'm going to make. Is that it's why everything looks completely destroyed and eroded. Yeah, because once the rebarring rusts away, the structures will fall down. And that's where you're missing the point again, right? You can't just build huge structures from stone. No matter what it is, it will fall down. It's got no play. It's got no give. And they will crack and fall down. They have to be built in rebar. We know this, but you don't seem to know that. And these are used to be above ground. This is not boring, yeah? This is Egypt somewhere. And you can see the rebar inside and it's rusted away and it begins to corrode away obviously this is modern stuff this is actually some type of uh, iron yeah and it's been painted and it's a tunnel system this one uh, I've never shown you this 
it's difficult to show you what's going on here you know you just think that I'm just looking at to shapes in the wall but I'm not you're gonna to have to check this particular image on the Google page check this image on the Google page right and you will see things in here that is beyond belief you will see that what well, the level of uh, building methods and technology that they add is in this one image it is absolutely unbelievable we're talking about something like that's similar to CERN here right I'm not going to get into what's here I want you to look at this particular image yourself <clears throat> and the, right this is deep under the earth this could have been bored out as a tunnel or it was above ground it's just rebarring but you can see what happens to it look it rusts away and then the rest of it collapses right you can clearly see that this used to be metal this is not geopolymer it's metal it's high technology just to even come up with this stuff and, and start creating things like this yeah it's like the tunneling that I've shown under the plume serpent pyramid at Teotihuacan in Mexico yeah it's in ribbon it's in sections and bolted into position metal right it's as clear as day this one I've shown before and this could be something similar to the like the uh, like concrete sections uh, you know but I don't think so because again you get the two rims like the first image I showed where they are joined together and bolted into position right but it's just leached from you know events like Sodom and Gomorrah or just aeons of time and leaching of materials and it turns it into stone but this was obviously some central core to a skyscraper or something like that there will be loads of them under here used to be above ground and <clears throat> it was metal because like I showed before when this thing fell down because it must have fallen down because it's bent it all out of shape you can see it's bent yeah it's fallen down and it's bent and push this out of shape right and become stone well stone wouldn't do that would it it would break and smash and fall down is what I'm getting at this is as clear as day it's nothing to do with it being geopolymer right you can see this roof right it's green and it's green for a reason and all this used to be rebar yeah and you build massive structures like what I'm going to show in part two. That's what this is. They're not for pigeons, yeah. This is not some boring, you know, machine, uh, which is what I used to think and what other people think. It's a machine, and you bore in sections and then you cut them away. <clears throat> it's not. This was above ground and it was built. That has just been knocked away right this used to go down here this has been knocked away and if you just knocked a little more away from there it would look like this underneath here I can guarantee you this has just plunged through the roof as this thing started to erode away again it's green and blue because it used to be metal it's not geopolymer this is not boring technology it's built it used to be above ground we're talking huge mega structures here and we've learned from all this we build like this today because we've learned from it it's exactly how we build bridges as well this section here and this used to be iron and steel that's not a bed somebody has just knocked it away in the past or you know the people that's hiding history or a machine you just sat in here or something yeah <clears throat> again this is a massive stru massive structure right and it's a rebar structure and then you pour concrete into it we're going to be going in here next, right? 
but even these walls here you can see that these are bigger sections yeah and they're bolted into position and then you pour your concrete most of it's underground but all this is a hard surface as this stuff erodes away that section that I just pointed out is showing you that this is not geopolymer it's high grade metal that rusts away right the reason why this hasn't rusted away like the rest of it is because it's just been exposed in recent past right and air has got to it and now it's starting to erode away you can see where bolts were and other things connecting this stuff together it runs through the entire structure the entire mountain showed this in one of my earlier videos and <clears throat> at that point I was starting to change my mind on this stuff I knew that we didn't didn't have the answer right and they have not got the answer again this is not boring technology right in that video I thought that this was some type of clay structure like uh, like I've shown in other videos this entire mountainside here but it's not and I was saying that it was built from clay brick but it's not because you don't lay blocks one on top of each other like that you have to lay them slightly to the side so they don't just fall down so again this is rebar structure right and this section has just fallen away revealing what it looks like all the way through this mountain and it's turned to stone that's a close-up of it and again these smooth sections here is just where some of this stuff has been knocked away but if you knock through this here it looks like this through the entire mountainside This one here you can even see where <clears throat> where it, when this thing fell down or whatever event took place it bent can you see how the roof how these sections here these wall sections bend at the top yeah you know because metal bends right when under pressure and you can see how it's actually in two sections like there's two wall sections that are joined together to make it stronger I'll show you a bit more of this in a bit <clears throat> this is in, like a new thing <clears throat> and you can clearly see that this it used to be iron or some metal like that yeah and that's where you're getting this color from it's red and rusting away because it's got iron in it okay and again these floor sections which I'm going to start showing you you can't just build a entire floor in midair from stone no you can't how would you lay it in the first place right and why would you do it because it would just break it's got to have rebar in it which is metal not geopolymer it's rusting away this is Egypt and you can see bolts and all sorts of things hanging out of this structure right this because this stuff's across the entire world most of it's underground it's all buried now but you can see ribbon and bolts yeah and now